folks and welcome to the second day of our holiday vlog. What do we got on the uh, agenda for today, Steve? I reckon we'll take the family and you guys up to the lighthouse and have a look. And uh, maybe we saw a few whales out there yesterday and, and the manta rays and dolphins. So we thought we'd take the 100 to 500 zoom lens up there and get some nice close-ups hopefully. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Well, I thought this would be a great opportunity to take the Mavic drone up and do some aerial photography. I might do a panorama and a stitch um, and maybe some vision as well. I love how compact that Mavic drone is and, nice. you know, just take it anywhere with you. Alright folks, well let's go for a quick walk and uh, we'll show you what we find. Let's do it. See you later. That's brilliant, man. <laughs> love it. made it to the top of the lighthouse um, it was quite a walk I tell you so I've caught my breath so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate the compass I think it's very important that every time you go to a new location that you recalibrate your compass on the drone so it's just a case of turning it vertically and horizontally okay that will give us a set return to home base if, uh, if I lose sight of it for any reason or there's an emergency I can quickly just come back to base. Okay, so I'm just going to check my exposure on the camera, that's looking pretty good. And uh, everybody clear. Take off. So the first thing I've done is I've just got a little bit of altitude there, making sure that I'm clear of any trees or anything. And uh, so now I'm just going to reference back to the camera. Okay, so the actual feature that I'm going to use is called oscillate. It means I'm going to lock focus on the lighthouse and I'm going to oscillate a 360 degree around the lighthouse and from there I'll head out over the headland. So to do such a thing, I've got to come into the actual device here and I need to go to, uh, to active track and what it's asking me to do now is to give it the actual uh, the subject that I wish it to track so I'm going to move the camera down there so I have the lighthouse right in the center of frame and I've drawn a, a square around the lighthouse with my finger and I'm simply pushing tap to go and now to oscillate I'm just simply moving the oscillate tab around and basically that device is now in autopilot doing that uh, 360 degree. So at this point here, I'm just going to be patient and wait for it to do its full 360 pan. I can hear it coming around here the other side now. And that's just looking terrific. There it comes. Just always making sure that we're clear of any high structures, including trees or anything of that nature. a very cinematic look doing that oscillation pan. So now that I've done that for 360 degrees, I'm going to bring my oscillator back to zero. So before I leave and uh, try and film anything else, it would make good sense that I'm going to want to check both the battery on the actual camera and the controller. So the device itself, the drone is telling me it has 16 minutes of flight time left, so I'm quite happy to go on from here and I've got 64% on my controller. Okay, so I'm still recording at this present moment, so I'm going to now uh, turn the drone and I'm gonna head out to that headland. Let's just see what we can find out there. Epic. 
there was a series of shots. It's very similar to when you are taking a panorama at ground level. Actually, there's not a lot of difference in the technique. Yeah, this should be an epic pano from out there. Okay, so just as I normally would if I was at uh, ground level, I'm going to take my first shot of the pano. Get that camera there. Take the shot. Turn. Take the shot. Turn the device. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. I think that's going to look absolutely terrific. That's a, that's a shot that you certainly just won't get from a, a land-based tripod. All right, so I might just switch over to a uh, video camera and uh, we'll record our flight in. Be a long way away, I guess. All over the ocean there. Beautiful colour in that water. Okay, I'll just do it all manually. So flying in towards us, and at the same time. Bring my altitude down. See a little green uh, shed there. And we're right above us. Joining us on that, that was a lovely walk up to the lighthouse this morning up at Double Island. Thank you very much, guys, for taking us up. Yeah, well, that was terrific. I can't wait to look at some of those photographs. Yeah. Have a look at the colour of that water out there. Um, who wants to race into the water? Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, mate. All right, folks, thanks for joining us. We'll hope to catch you in the next vlog.